Hello viewers, our today's topic is about data list normalization. In this data list normalization, we discuss about what is normalization and the most three important normalization for first NF, second NF, and third NF. So, first of all, what is normalization? Actually, it divides large tables to a smaller tables and link them using relationships and there are lots of uh, lots of types of normalization first normalization second third and voice code nf fourth sixth fifth and sixth nf but first three nf are most common and mostly used so for this i just describe about first nf second nf and with example so here is my example and there are four columns full name physical address movie and spread and salutation so for doing first normalization we need to discard the multiple values here in the table the movie rented columns have multiple value so for doing first nf we have two rules. First rule is is table cell should contain a single value. So in this example, there are multiple values like movie rented in the for Jones, Pirates of the Caribbean, and Clash of the Titan, and for Phil Marshall and Daddy's Little Girl. So those are multiple values. In the first normalization, you need to discard the multiple values and need to make them in single value. And each records need to be used. So for first NF, I just write down for John first Pirates of the Caribbean and then for John's information, just movie is separated from Clash of the Titan and the for Phil. Marshall and Daddy's literal curves are separated and by separating multiple values in single it is called the first NF. It's so easy. And for second NF, you need to be in first NF because without doing first NF, you can't do the second NF. So it's a very important is be in first NF. Then single column primary key. So here in my table membership ID is a new column called membership ID, which is the primary key of this table. Here primary key is the primary key, and records can be uniquely identified here by this membership ID. Here in the first NF. There are Pirates of Caravan, Clash of Titan, lots of the movie engine, but there are not. If I just want to do my second NF, I need to be a to this cause primary key. So for this, I just separate the movie then and give them a ID. And here, the, in this table, this membership ID is the primary key and in the second uh, table here move in this membership id is like a uh, work as a foreign key okay so for doing second nf be in first nf and then single column primary key so that's it and for third nf be in second nf without doing second nf you can't do can do the third NF, so it's the mandatory thing. And the second rule of third NF is has no transitive functional dependency. Here, the key transitive functional dependency. So what is this? Actually, a transitive functional dependency. A transitive functional dependency is when changing a non-key column might cause any of the other non-key column to change here what is non-key 
you need to understand this. Without understanding non he you can't understand the transitive functional dependency. Actually, columns in a table that are not used to identify a report uniquely are called non key column. In my table, in my example, here full names and salutations are non key. Okay, so I need to to, to change this. So here uh, in salutation, I need to, here for third name, just see this for full name, if for fill, if I use miss mrl, then he's not a male. I know he is a female contribution, but he's a male. So here is a transitive functional dependency. So you can change the change the name salutation by changing the person sex so uh, so here I need to change this and for this here I just uh, add a primary key here in this salutation ID first table is um, primary key and in this salutation for table is a salutation ID is a foreign key and for understanding mm, deeply in transitive functional dependency, mm, I see mm, I give you some example of cheap code biases mm, city. Here is a transitive functional dependency, and your first name, your last name, there is also a functional, a transitive functional dependency. So if your table has a cheap code city. A city or a first name, last name, name. So you can find out there is a transitive functional dependency, and you can do easily in third NF. So that's it. Hope you enjoyed my video. If you enjoyed my video, please like and subscribe my channel.